calculating the allowable misclose for a levelling run. First, we need to know the distance travelled. In this case, 506.17 metres. Established by Stadia readings when doing the precise levelling. Or with the digital levelling, the distance of each reading is calculated and can be accumulated to determine this distance. The forward height distance can be determined by adding up the rise column, which in this case is 1.636 metres. We are reading to 0.1 of a millimetre in this instance. The back height difference, or the sum of the falls, in this case is 1.6631. This enables us to determine the actual misclose by taking 1.6636 and subtracting from it 1.6631 to get 0 0.0005 metres or 0 0.5 of a millimetre in this instance. In this case we are now going to calculate the allowable misclose using the standard or often quoted standard for third order levelling of plus or minus 7 millimetres per square root of the distance in kilometres. In this case that is plus or minus 7 times the square root of 0.50617 kilometres, there being a thousand metres in a kilometre, 506.17 divided by a thousand is 0.50617 kilometres. In this instance, that calculates to plus or minus 4.98. 0194 millimetres, which rounds very nicely to plus or minus 5 millimetres. That would be the allowable misclose in this case. And with a misclose of 0 0.5 millimetres, we were well within the allowable misclose. So just to round that off, after travelling a distance of 506.17 meters, we then would calculate the actual misclose and then calculate the allowable misclose which is plus or minus 7 millimeters times the square root of k where k is in kilometers which we convert the meters to kilometers is 0.50617 um, we did that by dividing by a thousand and that gives us an allowable misclose of plus or minus 5 millimetres. So this represents a very sound levelling run, well within the limits for third order levelling.